Okay, so we're going to look at doing the grade calculator. So this is just a simple calculator where I enter grades and count the number passed and failed. First thing I'm going to do is include STDIO, that's the standard I.O. library. That's going to give me access to uh, printf and scanf. <clears throat> and now I'm going to break my program into a couple of parts. Um, I'm going to get a grade. I'm going to process the grade. And then I'm going to print my results. Now I've done some pseudocode on a piece of paper. I've thought about this ahead of time. So I know that these first two I'm going to do inside a, a while loop because I want to get multiple grades. So while my grade is not equal to negative one, if you remember the assignment was to keep entering grades until we get to negative one. So I'm going to loop and inside that loop I'm going to do both uh, get grade and process the grade. When I finish that loop I will do uh, print the results. Okay so grade, I've used grade, I haven't defined it. Grade is going to be an integer and I'm going to initialize it to zero. It's a good idea to always initialize your variables. So while grade is not equal to one I'm going to get the grade. So to get the grade, the first thing I have to do is ask the user to enter it. I'll do that with a printf statement. And followed by a scanf statement. So printf, I'm just printing that string. Please enter grade. Oh, let me uh, also better tell them minus one to quit. And then scanf, the format code is percent %d for an integer. We're just getting integer grades. And then I have to uh, put percent, or pardon me, ampersand grade. So the parameters to scanf are the format string, and then the variable that I'm going to put that data in with an ampersand in front of it. And I've already defined grade. So get grade, I prompt the user, and then get the information from the user. So now I've got to do this process grade. So I'm going to only process valid grades. I know that I'm going to have some entries that are not valid. When the user enters negative one, that's not going to be valid. So I just, I only want to add to my grade past count and failed count if it's a valid grade. So valid grades are if the grade is greater than or equal to zero and the grade is less than or equal to 100. So it has to be both of those things. That's why I said and. For a grade to be valid, it has to be greater than or equal to zero. Oops, I spoke that wrong. It has to be greater than or equal to zero, and it has to be less than or equal to one. Okay, so for valid grades, I want to count uh, passed and failed. So I'm going to say if the grade is greater than or equal to 60, that means they passed. So then I'm going to say passed count equals past count plus one. And that's underlined in red because I haven't defined past count yet. Um, and I'll go up and do that in a sec. Now, if, if this is an excellent case where I can use if and else. Um, I have only valid grades here because I tested that before I came, got to this point. So they either passed or failed. There's no other option. So if they didn't pass, then I'm going to increment the pass, the failed count. Whoops. And that's it. I have, uh, if I have a valid grade, 
then if the grade is bigger than or equal to 60, I increment past count. And if it's smaller than, or if it's not passed, then it's failed, and I increment the failed count. Now, I've used these two variables. I have to go up here and, uh, and create them because I haven't created them yet. So I use the int keyword, int past count. I'll initialize it to zero. And int failed count, and I'll initialize it to zero. Now these ones, it's important that I initialize because I, the first time I use them, uh, in all three cases, grade, past count, and failed count, I'm, I'm reading them first. In this while statement, I'm getting the value of grade and checking it against minus one, so it better have a value. And here, the first time I use past count, I'm setting it equal to the value of past count plus one. So they all have to be initialized, and they are. Okay, so while grade is not equal to negative one, you get a grade, and then process that grade, and now I'll print my results. So printf percent d students passed, and so the percent d is a format to print a, a variable. And the variable I want to print in this case is the past count variable, because I'm saying this many students passed, and that's what I've counted in that variable. And then I will print F a, do the same thing for failed count, so percent D students failed. And the backslash n to get a new line so everything's not jammed up next to each other on the same line. And filled. Okay, so let's build that and see if it works. And the build was successful. Go ahead and run it. Okay, so I will enter, let's see, 10, 10, and 10, and then minus 1. And it quits and says zero students passed and three failed, which is correct. Okay, so um, that's it. That first one is simple. A couple of things I would like to point out that I did. Uh, if I can get the size so I get the whole thing on the screen. Okay, so... Uh, one thing that really helped me here is by only counting the past count and the failed count for valid grades, I didn't have to do any adjustments for uh, that minus one or if that I'm, I'm using negative one as a sentinel value. So the user enters negative one to say they've finished. And that negative one isn't a valid grade. I shouldn't be counting it as a failed grade or adding it into my total number of grades in any way. So by doing this little test here, it helps me avoid that. Okay, so that is the first grade calculator.